Hello, this is MAT 221, Mrs. Johnson. This is section 2.1, having to do with tangent lines to the curve and limits. So this is video two. This table shows the values of the slope of the secant line from P to Q for several values close to X equals one. Notice the closer that Q is to P, the closer it appears from the table that the slope is getting closer and closer to two. So this column says what the value is um, of Q. Q is two, X stays at one for P. So P is at one, Q is at these values here. So from two to one, the slope was three. From 1.3 to, uh, excuse me, 1.5 to one, the slope between the two points was 2.5. From 1.1 to 1, the slope between the two points was 2.1. From 1.01 .01 to 1, the slope between the two points was 2.01. You can see what they're doing here. They're finding the slope between the two points as Q comes closer and closer to P, which is staying at 1, which is our point of tangency. Now this is coming in from the left toward X, excuse me, from the right coming in toward 2. So this is coming in from 2, then 1.5, then 1. So it's coming in toward 1 from the right. Here, Q is points coming in from the left. So say Q is at 0. So I want to know the slope between 0 and 1. The slope was 1. Between 0.5 and 1, the slope was 1.5. Between 0.9 and 1, the slope was 1.9. 0 0.99 and 1, 1 1.99, 0 0.999. Notice. Over here, the slope between the two points as Q is getting closer and closer to P also targets a slope of two. Just like with limits, if my slopes are targeting the same value, then we say that the instantaneous rate of change exists, or the derivative exists, or the slope of the curve exists. All of those are synonymous and is equal to that point. In this case, is equal to a value of two. So here's another example of how we could do this concept, <coughs> excuse me, of two points. Say we take the curve y equals f of x, or f of x equals x squared. And say we say our point of tangency is at x equals one. This is our point of tangency. This is our p. And we're going to pick, pick another point over here, we'll call it Q, that is a little distance away from our P. So this would be a value of 1. This would be a value of 1 plus a little bit, whatever H happens to be. It's a little bit. So P and Q are the two points on the curve. P is at 1. Q is at 1 plus H. The value of the function at 1 would be F of 1. The value of the function at P, or excuse me, at Q at that other point would be F of 1 plus H. All right, let's do a little bit of algebra here and look at the slope. The slope, remember, is the change in the output values divided by the change in the input values. So in that case, the change of the output values is F of 1 plus H minus F of 1 over 1 plus H minus 1. But 1 plus H minus 1 is equal to h. Now let's put this use function notation and plus put 1 plus h into this actual function. So the slope at the point 1 1 is going to be the limit as the distance between the two points which is h goes towards 0 and it would be f of 1 plus h which is x squared, so it would be 1 plus h squared, minus f of 1, 1 squared is equal to 1, over h. Let's do a little bit of math here. 1 plus um, h squared, if we FOIL that binomial, is 1 plus 2h plus h squared, minus the 1, over h. Let's reduce this a little bit. The 1's cancel. Reducing and factoring out an h, the h's can now cancel. So now I can do a limit by substitution. 
By substitution, substituting 0 in for h, we get 2 plus 0, which equals 2. 2 is considered the instantaneous rate of change of this parabola at x equals 1. It would be the slope of the tangent line to the curve at x equals 1. It would be the derivative of the curve at x equals 1. It would be the instantaneous rate of change of the curve at x equals 1. The slope of the curve, y equals f of x, at the point p, where p is equal to a comma f at a, is given by this. Slope equals the limit as h approaches 0 of f of a plus h minus f of a over h. This is what we consider the derivative at a point, the slope of the curve at a point, the tangent line to the curve at a given point all synonymous, all meaning the same thing. So here's our formula re reproduced again. So the slope of the curve at a point is equal to the instantaneous velocity, if we're talking about velocity or change in position over change in time. Instantaneous velocity of an object at time equals a is given by the limit of the average velocity over that interval as the interval shrinks around a. So if you're asked to find the slope using the definition or using the difference quotient, this is the technique we're going to use. We're going to use this formula right here to find the um, slope of the curve or the instantaneous rate of change or the instantaneous velocity or the slope of the tangent line to the curve at a given point. This is a demonstration of what we just did here with P and Q. At any point where the blue curve is some curve f of x. Here's our point of tangency p. That's the point a comma f at a because here's the x-coordinate and then the y-coordinate would be the value of the function at a. Here would be point q where the value of the <clears throat> x-coordinate would be a plus h, whatever a happened to be at the point of tang tangency, plus a little bit that we call h. This would be the x-coordinate, and then the y-coordinate would be the value of the function at that x-coordinate, or f of a plus a, h. This right here would be the difference between my um, output values, because that's going to be the numerator, and this right here would be the difference of my input values, which is just h. So we get change in output over change in input. We take the limit of that as this input as h gets closer and closer to zero as q comes closer and closer and closer to p along the curve, but never quite touching p. Let's do an example. Given y equals x squared plus 2 at x equals negative 1, find the slope of the curve and the equation of the tangent line, and then draw the graph of the curve and the tangent line in the same viewing window. Okay, this one actually is one from a calculator book, from the book. So the first thing we want to do is figure out, okay, when x equals negative 1, then what's the value of the function? What's the actual point of tangency? So I put 1 into this function. 1 squared is 1. Uh, neg negative 1 squared, I'm sorry, is 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. So the point of tangency is the point negative 1, 3. Now we're going to use this formula to find the slope of the curve. To find the slope of the curve, we put in, in this case, a is equal to negative 1. So we say, OK, we want f of negative 1 plus h squared. So notice I just went up here into the equation, and I put negative 1 plus h, because that's my a is equal to negative 1. f of negative 1 plus h would be negative 1 plus h squared plus 2. So this part right here is f of a plus h minus, and make sure you use brackets, f at a. But in this case, a is negative 1, so it would be negative 1 squared plus 2, which is equal to 3. Simplifying this, if I FOIL this out, I get negative 1 minus 2h plus h squared plus 2, and the negative 1 plus 2, um, I mean 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. When I distribute this, I get negative 3. 
simplify and we get the threes cancel. Factoring out an H in the numerator, I can then cancel those H factors. Now I can do a limit by substitution. By substituting H into this equation, I get 0, which equals negative 2. The slope of this curve at the point negative 1 is equal to negative 2. Now, how do I write the equation of a line? Well, if I have a point on the curve and I have its slope, we're going back to our unit 1 review back when we reviewed pre-calculus, we would find the equation of the tangent line to the curve. How do I find the equation of the tangent line to the curve? So now that I know that the point of tangency is the point negative 1, 3, and I know the slope of the curve is equal to negative 2, I could put this into the equation of a line to find the equation of the tangent line to the curve. The equation of a line, remember, and I'm going to call the line g of x, is equal to slope times x minus x1, which is the x-coordinate, negative 1, plus y1. Or if I simplified this, would be here would be the equation of the tangent line to the curve at x equals at the point negative 1, 3. Now we don't have to reduce this or put it into y equals mx plus b form. We can just leave that right alone the way it is and leave the equation just as it is. All right, a couple more definitions that we have to go through. The normal line to a curve is the point perpendicular to the tangent point line at that point. For example, if I said to you, write the equation for the normal line to the curve of f of x equals 4 minus x squared x, x equals 3, what we would do is we would find the equation of the tangent line of the curve and then simply change its slope to its neg negative reciprocal or um, the line that's perpendicular to the tangent line. So first, let's find the slope of the curve at x equals 3. Then take find the negative reciprocal of that slope. Then find the value of the function at x equals 3 and write the equation of the normal line. 